Welcome back guys to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 8.2, differentiation using standard results. This is a great A star video, so I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So differentiation is quite straightforward. It's just um, adapting the um, a differentiation rule, which we've talked about on the first um, part of chapter 8 and this time we'll do differentiation of one uh, term expression a multiple term expression which includes obviously a few different terms and how to differentiate a, mul a multiple of a single term so uh, these um, might not make sense currently but it will very soon so the first uh, step we are going for is to differentiate x cubed. Um, hopefully, by the time you um, are doing this, you should be able to do it because of the first video, or if you skip the first video, never mind, let's start from scratch. So what you need to do, the first step is to identify, uh, identify the power of x and that would be 3 obviously so yeah let's put that out 3 is the power and what we need to do is to adapt the differential uh, rule which is this one right here I uh, conveniently copied from last time and y, if y equals to x to the power of n after differentiating, it would become nx to the power of n minus 1. So let's just substitute numbers into the equation because xn is x cubed, so n equals 3 on this side, it would look like this, wouldn't it? So everyone can do this now. Uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, so the answer is 3x squared. So this is how to differentiate a single term um, number. So now let's up the difficulty, do three terms at once. But it's starting to get a bit complicated. So what we need to do now is separate the terms. So identify the separate terms, which I have um, found is x to the power 4, x to the power 5, and negative x, uh, x squared. So these are the three terms and just need to apply the differential, uh, differential show rule right here for each separate terms. So the first term x to the power 4 will equal to 4x cubed um, x to the power 5 will equal to 5x to the power 4 and remember it's positive so we add it then this is a negative uh, 2x after differentiating so yeah this is basically the differentiated um, of this so yeah that is quite straightforward, isn't it? So, why don't we differentiate the answer again? So this is basically the answer of uh, question 2, but now we differentiate it again. How? Well, first uh, you do the same thing, just identify different terms, which is 4x cubed, 5x to the power 4, and minus 2x. So, um, separate them into values and variable, which I've talked about on chapter, I think, 1 or something like that. So, you should be able to get these three things um, separated, of course. So, 4 times x cubed, 5 times x to the power of 4 and minus 2 times x to the power of 1. Note, 
that this is going to uh, be used um, for differentiation because we want the power uh, to be obvious so that we can use it then you just have to apply the same rule which will get you for the first term 4 times 3x squared then second uh, 5 times 4x uh, cubed and finally negative 2 times 1x to the power of 0 and we know power x to the power of 0 well anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1 and 1 times 1 is indeed 1 so that is simplified and what we need to do is put them back together into a string and of course calculate these uh, simple multiplications so you should be able to get 12x squared plus 20x cubed minus 2 as the answer to this question and here we have question 4 differentiate 1 over x squared the smart genius says knows how to do this 1 over 2x and I tell you that is wrong really wrong indeed never say that again do not just differentiate a fraction oh I I should tell you that this is not in the syllabus so please if you don't understand this skip it it's gonna confuse you otherwise so 1 over x squared we know if something is a reciprocal then it's a negative power a negative power means this so these two are literally the same thing aren't they so what do we do same rule same adaptation I guess I don't need to uh, explain it any further I'm not even gonna put out the um, equation because I hope you have remembered them and that would be the one that you will want to know and note this is negative number and this is minus one do not add one like I did just now because 2x means it would be um, become 2 times uh, x to the power of 1 which you um, added actually because it's negative you actually added a number uh, added instead of minus so um, you actually messed the question up quite a lot so um, the answer to that would be minus 2 x to the power of negative 3 which in fraction it looks like this not particularly beautiful but yeah this is not in the syllabus so if you want to ignore it by all means do so my tips for this chapter is first uh, think that the powers of x which is like x to the power of 1 x to the power of 3 x to the power of 4 these things are something totally different do not mix them up or do anything strange with them and um, it's like treat it like a third let's say like um, turn it into a variable instead of just treating it like a third because that apparently mess people up um, by the, with their thinking and brain um, I never have that difficulty so I <laughs> don't really understand why people do that but I know that people do so think of it differently second um, multiply uh, not multiply uh, simplify the term into a something times the x power in um, so that you don't actually get messed up like question 4 where a fraction uh, where you differentiate a fraction you can actually mess up quite a lot so just let k and n be negative if 
necessary because only when they are negative you can do the differentiation so or maybe just simplify it like you usually do in linear equations and other things just try not to mess yourself up yeah so there are six questions today uh, differentiate every single expression into dy over dx please and for question six I don't really expect you to um, do it right I guess but if you can make it right um, do get it right <laughs> please and just don't confuse yourself do it the conventional way yeah do it the conventional way so uh, you don't confuse so yeah in the count of five I'll release the answer so five four three two one so you must get one to five right if you get six wrong doesn't matter it's probably not ever going to appear in a paper and in my experience I think over the past three or five years there aren't a fraction differentiation question came up so don't panic if you get this wrong um, so the method to do it is actually to divide each term by 2x and simplify them so the f the uh, simplified version of the equation will be um, half x plus I think 1.5 and after differentiating that you'll get a half so yeah it's fine if uh, it's wrong and do you think that uh, question 4 and 5 is a bit um, annoying to calculate I sure do think so while doing it the conventional way but I actually know two rules a rule called chain rule for powers and a rule for product rule for two different multiple uh, multiples so do you want to learn them if you do leave me a comment and say uh, you want to learn about chain rule and product rule because I'm not going to include it in this chapter because obviously it's not in the AQA certificate GCSE um, uh, further mathematics course so yeah if you have uh, any interest on chain rule or product rule um, do uh, ask me to make a video so yeah that will be it for this chapter hope you enjoy it and if you learned something uh, leave me a like and comment remember if you want to learn chain rule or product rule give me a comment as well so I will see you next time